Hey, 5280 Sports Network, good morning. It's a Wednesday. It's your morning minute. Nate Lundy, Sean Drotar, thanks for stopping by. Uh, as we uh, get ready for the San Diego Chargers coming into town on uh, Sunday, uh, our highlight so far of the morning is that there is a woman in Houston who has started a GoFundMe page to buy out Brock Osweiler's contract. Uh, apparently she's had it. Uh, with Brock. I'm not quite ready to hit that panic button, but have you logged in and donated any money? No, 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 no. I think Brock's uh, doing fine. I think the Texans made their bed. I, I, they they can live with it. I, I have no beef with Brock Osweiler. We've talked about it. You get that kind of paycheck. You take it too. And I don't think it's that bad. I mean, you're already that upset. That's some pretty quick buyer's remorse. But uh, it, looking forward to the Chargers, though. A huge game for the Broncos. They've already lost. Chargers going for their first sweep of the Broncos since 2010 and their first AFC road win in more than two years. Yeah, they're not going to win on Sunday. Uh, the Broncos will. We'll get into that a little bit later on in the week. I did want to touch, though, in today's morning minute because we are tipping off the NBA season uh, for the Denver Nuggets. Oddly enough, there are actually some analysts out there that have them beating the odds that Vegas has in terms of the over-under on their wins and winding up as the eighth seed uh, in the West. I think that given where the team has been and while that probably would mean a quick ejection by the Golden State Warriors, I would take a trip back to the playoffs to feel like this is going in the right direction. Well, I, I suppose, yeah. I, I just need to see the Nuggets going in the right direction. Honestly, Nate, I don't mind. I, I, I might even be okay with them getting one more throw in the lottery than getting waxed by the Warriors. But I think there is value to getting to the postseason, to going in and proving as a team that you can make that climb back into that discussion. And that's what the Nuggets will try to do starting tonight against the Pelicans. They have a lot of questions about uh, their, their talent. There's so much of it. It's not necessarily of whether they have talent or not. It's how quickly can it mature and who settles where. I, I think that the Nuggets are potentially up for grabs at a couple different positions. If we're starting, you think about, okay, Danilo Gallinari is going to start, but you have uh, Nurkic, Jokic, Fareed, Gary Harris starts the season hurt, so that's likely Jamal Murray, Emmanuel Moody. There's a lot of talent there, and to figure out how it sorts out minute-wise, it's going to be a big challenge for Michael Malone starting the season. And that's why I actually differ from you, that I'm not worried about them having the extra shot in the lottery, because I think they have a lot of young talent already. I would rather have that young talent get some experience in the playoffs and in that kind of atmosphere and be able to take that forward where maybe a year from now they're expected to be a six seed or I, I mean I'm not expecting anything uh, outrageous over the course of the next couple of seasons but I do think the postseason experience does matter for something especially when you're a young team so I'd be okay with that even if it meant getting bounced so everything will tip off tonight as you mentioned they're in New Orleans what's the name of the arena the smoothie king arena yum <laughs> Who doesn't like smoothies? Seriously. That's that's fantastic. How many smoothies do you have to sell to have them do a naming rights of like thirty million dollars? <sighs> That's, that's, a lot of that's a lot of strawberries and bananas. Uh, so Nuggets will uh, tip off. The uh, abs get back uh, in action on Friday night back at home at the Pepsi Center. And, of course, the Broncos and Chargers coming up on Sunday. We'll have all of that to be able to talk to you about and more throughout the week. Be checking milehighsports.com, also 5280sportsnetwork.com. You can catch Sean and I weekday mornings on Mile High Sports Radio, AM 1340, FM 1047 at 7 a.m. Enjoy your Wednesday. We're back with you tomorrow. See you.